Moving Pictures by Catherine and Stuart Immonen. Set against the historical backdrop of the Second World War, French art curator Illa Gardner and German officer Rolf Hauptmann are forced to play out their private lives in a dangerous power struggle. Ila Gardner? Yes. Your passport was not among the papers you surrendered to the secretary. Perhaps you forgot to bring it with you, yes? No, it's lost. I lost it about a year ago. I haven't needed it until now. I think I can be fairly sure you are who I say you are. Well, it's not like you to be uncertain, is it? <laughs> Ooh, it's kind of dark in here. Uh, sorry. I hope I'm not interrupting. I just thought you might like some comic books to pass the time. I'll leave them here. If you need anything else, I'll be outside. Okay. Have a great interrogation. Uh, what? Bigfoot by Pascal Girard. Small town teenager Jimmy has a lousy best friend, a porn habit, and an uncle whose miserable existence is the embodiment of life stalled in its tracks. Hello? Anybody home? No. Jimmy! Jimmy! Jimmy, I just saw something incredible! I got it all on video! I've got the details Stop on shouting! Get phone. out! I got Bigfoot on video! I'm dressing! Hang on a sec! There! See him? And he disappears into the woods. I don't know. It's hard to tell. What do you mean? It's obvious! Coffee? Sure. Thanks. I came face to face with a monster. Do you have a pencil? I'll draw him. I honestly think you should keep this whole story to yourself. Chimo by David Collier. Chimo is a winding autobiographical account of the author's decision to re-enlist in the army at the age of 40 with the goal of serving in the Canadian Forces Artists Program in Afghanistan. My tasking today, driving a bunch of young privates home from a weekend exercise. That's it, guys. Get all our kit in the back. Brazette! Ha <laughs> ha! A bunch of young spirited privates. Dum, dum. Still, I marvel at the way these kids today can make music and lay down rhythm tracks just by using their mouths. Which gives me an idea. Better jot it down. Just a few words, enough to help me out later. Lucky all that driving I did out in Saskatchewan taught me to steer with my knee... For a couple of seconds, anyway. Through the miracle of modern technology, an image is transmitted from one speeding vehicle to another instantaneously. <laughs> it's Collier. Can I see that, please? Corporal Collier, can I speak with you a moment? Hmm? Just now, a photo was taken of you drawing while driving. Uh, I wasn't drawing honest. In the military, punishment is swift, severe, and certain. Corporal Collier, this is a serious allegation. However, I just heard you were nominated for Doug Wright Award, so I'm going to let you off the hook this time. Yes, sir. If you autograph my comic book, and under no circumstances fraternize with that Chester Brown fellow. Do you understand, soldier? Do not accept money from him. Lose number two by Michael DeForge. The second issue of Lose takes a hard, dark turn into horror as two wayward children venture into the woods only to encounter monsters pulled straight from our worst nightmares. You'd better stop sucking up to mom and dad or I'm gonna karate chop your balls. I've been practicing. There's a dude on YouTube who shows you how. Ha! I totally saw Jeffrey Stackhouse crying at the bus stop this morning. I effing hate Stackhouse. He's such a smelly little homo. He's that weirdo whose dad talks all retarded because of the war or something. Hey, what is that? Oh, A dude, gross. What are you doing? What the F, Jip? <laughs> Look at me, I'm Don McSmeller. I'm the host of the Doug Wright Awards. I'm so cool. Quit it. I'm telling mom, weirdo. <laughs> Streakers by Nick Mandag. The story of three men, menial workers by day, who bond over an unlikely and thoroughly hilarious shared passion. Wahoo! Wahoo! The search hey, hey, for the perfect streak. 
Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Well, I've got a juicy bit of news on the agenda tonight. Once again, through my connections in the international streaking community, I have secured us tickets to this year's Doug Wright Awards Ceremony. We shall be flying to Toronto to attend one of the most prestigious events on Earth. In other words, one of the greatest streaking venues possible. My friends, this is to be my crowning achievement. During the speech for the Pigskin Peters Award, I shall expose my nude simian body to over 50 comic book aficionados. Of course, it's always a great honor for you people to have me hosting this award. Blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> Look at these clowns. I can't wait to hit them with a dose of medicine. And the Pigskin Peters Award goes to... All right, this is it. Here we go. Oh my god, I truly didn't expect this. Okay, okay, here I go. Hey, what do you have to ruin her moment for? Well, if you guys want streak, then I will. Woo! Wow! Congratulations to all the nominees for Best Pop Award! Woo! Woo! Wow! Yeah, check it out! Woo! Woo! Wow! Boy, am I glad I didn't waste a lot of years going to college!